I wish to address the issues surrounding the media coverage regarding the ex-soldier Ratu Tuvita, who is in Tonga awaiting extradition. The media in New Zealand and to some extent Australia have helped fuel rumours regarding this person and the false accusations targeted at the Fiji government and its citizens. I must stress to you all that reading anti-Fiji blog sites is not a source of credible information. These sorts of sites are run by politically motivated individuals who are mostly failed politicians and some disgruntled journalists. The majority of those commenting on the sites are not from Fiji and are living overseas. These blog sites have nothing positive to contribute to the growth of Fiji. They propagate rumours and stir up emotions to destabilise this country. Suffice to say that the local media have unfortunately fallen for this trap and have used false information to lend false credibility to these stories. The media has been misled by these baseless reports and have been used as a tool to further the interests of this selected group of people who have proven time and time again to be anti-Fiji. Let me draw your attention to some of the examples of this false reporting. Reports have suggested that Fiji is currently under 24-hour military roadblocks and people must be very cautious when travelling to Fiji. This, as everybody in this room knows, is completely untrue and malicious. I also bring to your attention the recent report by a New Zealand journalist that states that Fiji will not be having elections in 2014. No one from government made that statement, it's false reporting and deliberately used to question Fiji's commitment to holding elections. Let me state one more time for everybody, there will be elections in 2014. The Prime Minister has stated it time and time again. Do not question me one more time about elections. A direct consequence of this incorrect and unfair reporting is the upgrading of the Australian government's travel advisory. We all know that there are no roadblocks, there is no trouble. I am sure that Australians and New Zealanders that are currently here on holidays or here on business can all also confirm this. The unnecessary travel advisory not only hurts the tourism industry but hurts everybody in this country. I'll ask you this, why can't journalists in Fiji counter the overseas media and correct this misreporting? Why are we not doing more to stop the spread of this intentionally damaging and spiteful rumours? You in this room, ladies and gentlemen, know exactly what is going on in this country. You have the tools to inform the world of what is really happening on the ground in Fiji. Please can you use your collective powers to get this message to the international media. Eventually, it will start to hurt you as well. As the case of Ratu Tuvita is before the courts, there will be absolutely no further comments from government regarding this. Let me urge the media to stop using any anti-Fiji blog sites as a source of credible information. They are faceless, anonymous, politically driven sites. And every time you go onto that site, you call the ministry or you call someone to confirm a rumour. And we know that mostly everything on that site is false. It hasn't happened. Let me urge you to put Fiji first. You might not like me or the government, but put your country first and report fairly. Be pro-Fiji. Lastly, let me urge you to be objective and think Fiji first. And think before you listen to the rumours that have been propagated on these blog sites. I'll take some questions on this subject, if anyone has any. Thank you very much. This statement will also be available for you.